Hello, this is uh, Steve Melvin with Slash.media. I'm here with Elizabeth Schneider from Intel. Elizabeth, can you tell us a little bit about what you do at Intel, your title and role? I am the um, Compiler Technical Support Manager. Um, I manage a worldwide support team of technical consulting engineers that do web-based support, um, training, and um, look at customer issues and, and look at how we can improve our product line, especially with the compilers. First, I wanted to ask you uh, a question about uh, support for OpenMP 4.0. We've heard a lot of buzz around this at the recent Intel software event in Europe and EMEA. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could give our audience of professional developers, many of whom actually develop uh, with Intel's parallel tools, some of the information and updates about what this support actually means. The two um, features that we've added so far is for the SIMD directive and the target directive. Um, the SIMD directive extends the OpenMP um, specification beyond just covering tasking and going into um, adding for threading and vectorization. That allows the customer to take um, advantage of the SIMD registers that are part of the processors by having the SIMD directive as part of OpenMP. Then the customer is able to give the compiler some more information that the serial semantics of the C and C++ and Fortran programming languages otherwise wouldn't be able to communicate to the compiler. Could you tell us a little bit more about some of the advantages of explicit vector programming? With the SIMD directive, it adds the, uh, the ability of explicit vector programming, and um, that allows for to give more more information to the compiler than would the compiler can determine on its own. Um, we kind of compare. Um, the auto vectorization is to explicit vector programming, like we have a feature called auto parallelization, and that by using OpenMP in the task space, you're able to um, get the um, to communicate more information about parallelization. The um, explicit vector programming does the same the functionality and extends auto vectorization. Um, we were talking just a little bit earlier, and you had mentioned that there was some work to help better standardize Intel Silk Plus and also about how uh, some of the materials there were moving into the main line of the C code base. Could you give our audience a little more information on that and what that actually means for their day-to-day -day use of the tool? But some features that we added to our compiler back, the Intel compiler back in 2010. And since then, we went working to add those to the GCC source base and the LLVM source base. And in fact, we have um, the specification for Intel Silk Plus um, posted on our website. So we're, we're starting to see some success there. There's a branch in GCC for Intel Silk Plus, and we will continue to work towards getting those features um, uh, of Intel Silk Plus into those other compilers because we know that having compatibility with the features of such as Intel Silk Plus a, across multiple compilers is very important to our customers. Uh, one of the things that some of the audience members on Go Parallel in particular ask uh, editors like Joe and myself for on a regular basis are tips and tricks, right? What are what are some unknown hidden gems? And in particular with the update to uh, you know Parallel Studio XE We've heard a lot about some of the big announcements of feature sets, but what are some hidden gems or hidden feature sets in the latest update that maybe uh, developers watching this video who use these tools on a daily basis might not know about? If you were to recommend, say, two new tricks or features or things they could do with the development suite that they might not have been able to have done with the previous version that maybe they're not aware of. What would you highlight for that first? Um, right now, the VTune amplifier source, um, they release new versions uh, about every six weeks and they add new features about, about that time frame. So if the, the customer isn't um, signed up to get updates from our Intel Registration Center, so they're notified of those new versions, there may be some features of VTune amplifier that are in newer updates that they might not be aware of um, and not know that there's even a new version available so that I really encourage our customers to be looking for those emails and um, try out the new versions of our products as they become available if it's at the right 
you know, if they're in the right place in their development cycle to go to a new version. Uh, we'll have an, a new release coming up um, in the fall, an SP1 release that we have in beta testing right now. And there's a couple of new features that our customers may find very useful. One is an online installer, and that allows the customer to download just a small uh, sort of base for the install, and then they can pick what they want of our product. And then the, as the um, product is installing, it'll download just the pieces the second thing that we've added to our product um, on Linux is a GUI install. Um, it's something that we haven't had. Um, we still have the command line install for those customers that would prefer a command line install, but both Parallel Studio XE and um, Composer XE will have GUI installs available on Linux as well. Great. Um, anything you'd like to add for our audience? Uh, anything, any final piece of advice for anyone looking to get into parallel software development who perhaps hasn't gone there yet? Sure. Um, one thing I did leave out on our OpenMP 4.0 support was um, the target directive. And the target directive is a, is a way for the industry to standardize around um, the a similar syntax for doing offload to a such as a, to a coprocessor like Intel Xeon Phi, and I, I want to make sure that the customers are aware that that's also supported with our current release that's available now. Got it. All right, Stephen Wellen with Slashdot Media and Go Parallel with Elizabeth Schneider. Elizabeth, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.